Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to episode number 12 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Hope you're all well, and since the last episode, we've made some progress. And progress comes in the form of this. Look at this. So, I've been trying to kind of come up with a new design for the nether portal, whereby the nether is kind of bleeding into my base around the portal. So, I've put in a load of the crimson and um, nyan blocks. At least, I think that's what they're called. And this is what we've got. Now, I honestly, I don't know if it's too much. So... Leave comments down below, guys, what you think of this and whether or not I should tone it down. Originally, it was sort of bleeding into the stone, but it didn't really look right, which is why I've sort of separated it off with these blocks here. But please do let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions about this. So if you didn't catch the live stream, you all missed out the fact that we have now got some shulker boxes, albeit only six. The end city where we got our Elytra from before was very poor for shulkers, didn't really offer us much at all. But hey, we've got some shulkers. We can now get a bit of organization and at least we can head on into the end at a later date and get some more shulkers also did i mention i died multiple times trying to do this and i'm very lucky to have my elytra wings still that time i placed an anvil here i guess whoops let's try that again let's place it on a leaf block this time much better all right, guys, so I just wanted to take a quick moment just to sort of have a bit of a, a chat while we sort of fly around this area here and just mainly about how the series is progressing at the minute and how you guys are enjoying it. I kind of seem to spend a lot of time talking about what I've done and what I'm going to do, and sometimes that can take a lot of time up in the episode, and I kind of don't feel that's the best thing to be doing in these episodes because it takes up... Like I say, such a such amount of time. If I want to talk to you then and give you progress updates, maybe I should be doing it in the form of like these kind of little chats where we're flying around or under the top of a time lapse, which as you've probably noticed from recent episodes, I've grown quite fond to. I've been using the replay mod over the, the last episode and this one as well. And I really like the way you can create the time lapse. It's so easy to create and you don't need the secondary account, which is really, really nice indeed. But I just kind of want to know how to make my episodes better in, in a way. For it's so Am I waffling too much in these episodes? Do you like the progress updates? Am I giving too much progress updates? This is the sort of thing that I really kind of want to know about my sort of episodes. I'm going to be like trying to condense things down and give probably like progress updates as opposed to anything else. So here's what I've been doing kind of thing, blah, 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 blah. And then I'll go off and build something. I don't know that you guys want to see absolutely everything I build step for step, but definitely with the addition of the replay mod now, that will definitely help us out to be able to time lapse the builds a bit better i don't know it's, it's kind of weird it's kind of like a balancing act that i need to try and find but i'm really looking to some like some suggestions and how i can actually improve episodes at the minute i've got some ideas in the pipeline and i don't know how they will plan out in a single player world but they are kind of going to take a little bit of time to sort of organize and get going so they will come in future episodes so like i said let me know your thoughts on it guys i'll try and do less waffling unless i really want to waffle and hopefully the start of this episode kind of showed that new mentality where i just kind of really tried to give a really quick condensed episode summary of where i'd built that nether area outside of my nether portal so that's the sort of thing i want to try and do condense things down less information less waffling and more action and gameplay for you guys to watch but uh, anyway that is enough waffling and jabbering and going on let's jump back into the world all right guys we are over here at our creeper slash spider farm and as you can see i've actually put in a tunnel here to all the way to the top where my afk platform is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a simple dropper system if i can remember how just to push all of these items up to the top and therefore we don't need to ever come back down here ever again so i think it should be relatively simple okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our dropper over here now i should have one i've got two in my redstone box which is quite nice and i actually need it to 
face into this pipe like so okay so what that should do is when it gets a pulse it should trigger have i got a lever where i can just test this and there we go our item gets shot up the elevator and then we want to set up a hop line going into this dropper here like this i'm sure i've lost some hoppers somewhere ha huh. well that's problematic Aha, I found one. Hmm. I found one, but one's not going to cut the mustard here, is it? Oh dear. Looks like I'm flying back to the base to go and get me some iron or a hopper. Okay, we're back over here. We got our hopper. Let's plop it on there like so. And I should have my other rail, which can go on there. Now, hopefully... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now everything should be flowing into this dropper. So now that that is done, we can start to build the actual circuitry here, which is going to detect whether or not there is anything in the dropper. And that should be um, relatively simple, maybe. So we can do it one of two ways. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger it on the hopper here if we get rid of these blocks here and then we want some blocks here and here and we need gonna need a comparator a repeater and some dust for this and then what we're going to do is we're going to send a signal out to here and actually no i want the signal on the hopper don't i yes that's right so signal on the hopper like that which as you can see that is now pulsing we're going to want the repeater into here and then simply here we're just going to loop that signal around oh we're going to need a repeater okay we're going to need a repeater out of there actually and there goes all my redstone stuff <laughs> oh sigh okay take two so we're going to have this to here this goes around here like this that's going to have to be a repeater on here and a repeater there and that will start to trigger our items oh why is this hopper locking so this hopper is being locked and i don't know why is it because i'm powering this block here which is then in turn powering the hopper what if i went further down with this now, I'm not going to lie, at this point, I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. All right, so what I've done is I've extended the platform down a little bit, like that. Now, what I'm wondering is, I was to do, say... <sighs> okay, so if I put a redstone torch there... I put my hopper back into here block back there comparator repeater and then I run my redstone dust Ah, uh, get out of here. Can't you see I'm working? Okay, and then I run my dust down here like this. Now what happens if I do this? No. Uh, in other good news, looks like everything's coming up the chute. So that's a bonus, right? Okay, let's let's have a look here. Oh, it's, got, it's from the dropper. Let's, for instance, say we do that. Okay, so I need to do it from the dropper. The dropper and not from the hopper. Kind of sounds like some really cool and hip album title for some popular music person. All right, well, let's head back again and see if we can't uh, get it to work this time. So, I think we need to repurpose or reposition these hoppers. Okay, 
So then this is where the magic is gonna maybe happen. If we have something in the dropper, and it only needs to be one thing, so we need to repeat her. And then we're gonna want to run some dust. Down here. I think I'm going to need to put a repeater here, aren't I? Okay, this will work. This will work. So, repeater. I honestly hate my life. I'm just kidding, guys. I actually love my life quite a lot. Now let's test this out. So, I'm going to put string in. Oh, is it this bit of dust here that's causing that, possibly? Let's route this elsewhere. No, still the same. Oh, why can't I bring it? Why can't I work this out? Oh, maybe. I need the pulse to go back into the comparator. That's all it was? Okay, I feel like I need to make this a little bit more safe though. So let's go up to the top and grab some glass from the top. We're just gonna ignore the fact as well that this island looks a complete and utter catastrophe because why not? Okay, so that's all that redstone covered over and protected. But now that hopper's locked. Solve one problem, make another. Uh, I love this game, but at the same time, I hate it. So I've got to use powered rails here. Be able to get around and do this. Then take off this powered rail here. Dirt block there. Mine cart. And then let's start the Minecraft off. Finally, I think we have done it. Let's tie some of this stuff up. And then I'll be able to empty this chest. I really want to empty this chest. So now, unless anything goes wrong, we should never have to come back down here. Okay, so let's fly back up to the top just to make sure while we're stood up there, everything will flow up. And then oh, I think we can draw a line under the bottom of this project down here. Blop. There we can see it. It's all coming through. It's flowing into that hopper. And it won't be long before everything is getting rather full. It has to be said because this area will just go crazy. It will go crazy. So we... Next thing we need really need to work on is working on storage and expanding this storage here, which uh, we'll probably do through the pipeline there somehow. So the next task will be to expand the storage up here. And I think I might have to take the pipe a little bit higher and then have an automated storage system sort of where it flows in over the top because I want to be able to sort the items that we're getting. And I think we're only going to be getting these five different items where rotten flesh arrows and bones are going to be very rare and then it's going to mainly be string and gunpowder up here but it's really not going to be long though before we max out this single chest storage but i wait for all the items to flow through and i need to think about how i'm going to do it and then I'll start putting some chests down and seeing if we can't try to filter some of this stuff out. But at the same time, we need some iron because we're pretty much out of iron once again. And we're going to need quite a lot of hoppers to be able to 
make this storage system up here. So I think for the time being, we're gonna head off into a mining session, see if we can gather up some iron and then we can come back over here and hopefully take care of our automated storage system. A long live stream later. So we was pretty busy during that live stream. And as you can see, we have got our iron supplies up once again. We actually found a mine shaft over near the spawn of the world. And we was able to find a lot of iron over there. So now I'm going to make up some chests and some hoppers. We're gonna go take them over to the farm and then we're gonna go see if we can get this automated storage system up and running. All right guys, so I've been and I have gathered up some resources in my redstone box, which I think I'm gonna need here to do this project, which is mainly gonna consist of the repeaters and the redstone torches, which thankfully I brought some sticks and have some sticks in my redstone box, or else that would have been very problematic indeed. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the area over here first where the chests are gonna be. And then once I've done that, we can look to reroute the pipe of the items here as they, they flow up. I think we're gonna have to kind of go up here across in that direction and across there. And my plan is I'm gonna still get them to flow into a hopper, much like they are here. And then the hopper train will go along here and deal with everything else. So let me go and place in some chests just to get an idea of where I'm gonna be working here. And then we can proceed from there. Okay, time for a little progress update. As you can see, I have got my hoppers and all my redstone in place. However, 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 doesn't appear to be working. When I place my items in here, I get the signal, but the signal is not powerful enough to go through and travel along. So it always just ends up in the first chest, but this is exactly the same as how I have this set up over in my zombie and skeleton farm. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong at this point and why this isn't working. So I'm gonna keep plodding on. I don't know if it's to do with the glass. I might need to swap it out for stone perhaps. Maybe that could be the issue. So maybe I'll try using some stone slabs on the first bit to see if that rectifies the issue. But at the minute, things not be going too well for me. Okay, so I've made some adjustments. As you can see, I've taken out the glass and I got some cobble from down below. Now, does this rectify the issue? Was our issue to do with glass? Yes, it seems like it was potentially an issue with glass. And with all of that glass replaced, yes, success. <laughs> oh dear, lordy, lordy, lord. Right, okay, so we're going to, we will set up these filters. And then anything that doesn't go in here will be, will flow over to the end, which is cool. A couple of stacks of gunpowder. A couple of stacks of string. So this one is gonna be a gunpowder filter. This one is also going to be a gunpowder filter. I have string in this one, string in this one. And all of these should stop at 41, which they do. So now with that in place, yes, that's filling up. And then we should see in a moment, once all that gunpowder has gone through, this should start filling up. Yes, it's all working. Clearly my redstone is flawless. Don't you agree? What I didn't check though is if we get anything else. So let's chuck some glass in there and we should see our glass coming all the way to this end chest. Is it end chest? Oh, wait a second. 
I shouldn't have used glass, should I? No, I should not. All right, let's try that with something else. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't use a common item. Or if you use a common item, you need to rename it. And now everything is flowing into here. Fantastic. All right, the storage system section is sorted. Pardon the pun. So now what we need to do is get our water stream coming into these hoppers over here. So I'm going to want to cover all of these over with glass. Okay, so that's going to come up. And then what my plan will be will be to do something like this. And right at the top, we're going to have to have be pretty ugly so i apologize but we're gonna have this and this is where our water will flow into it's an ugly contraption there's no getting away from that but at least we can try and make it look a little bit better this should be our last bucket here look <laughs> this is let's just let's just watch this for a minute we've got like a fountain of items Woo -hoo. Wee -wee. <laughs> oh i could sit there and watch that all day all right so the last one goes in there that's gonna flow over to there we seal it off with a glass on top now we wait that was gunpowder hey just need to wait for some string. Was that string? Yes, that was string. I've got two stacks here. So yes, everything appears to be working. Never doubted myself for a moment. Okay, cool. So what I'll probably do is I'm just gonna spend a bit of time just to tidy this up now with glass all the way around here, just to encase these hoppers. It's it's going to be a bit of a glassy mess. I, I know that, but hey, it works. Although I am out of glass, it seems. So I'm going to need to smelt some more glass up. So I'll do that. I'm going to finish off decorating this area, get rid of this scaffolding. I may leave this scaffolding as like service access. Maybe I don't need it. No, we'll tidy the whole thing up, I think. We'll tidy it up, and then um, I'll do some AFK in just to fill a different, just to fill some of these things up. But yes, our automatic storage system for the creeper slash spider farm is now complete. Woohoo! All right, so I've spent a bit of time AFKing up here, and as you can see, we have almost got a full double chest of both string and gunpowder. So we are pretty set in regards to those resources so i think we'll head back to the base now because let's face it this whole episode has been pretty much doing little jobs around here and whilst i've got the storage system automated which is a, a massive plus we have pretty much out of time in this episode unfortunately and we haven't really achieved a lot other than playing around with that farm so yeah not much progress has been made in this episode and i do apologize guys I do kind of like to make lots of progress in these episodes. What's this? What is this? Ha. Huh. Okay, we've we've got a book. Dear Nock, I've been walking around the world now for over a week looking for your home. I wanted to thank you for saving me from the clutches of that husk the other week, even though you were totally unarmed. You were so brave. Anyway, I'm not a woman of many possessions. However, I do have something under my home that you may find useful. I've left you a key to access this secret, so the next time you're passing in the desert, be sure to stop by and have a look for yourself. Anyway, mustache, it's a long way home, and I really don't want to use the nether. It's a bit scary for me. Thanks again, Doris. Okay, so Doris must be the villager we saved the other week on the live stream. Oh dear. That villager's in trouble, look. Run, my villager friend, he's coming for me. Run, run away.
Ah, burn. You're welcome. She was being chased around the desert by a husk, and yeah, we didn't have any weapons or anything, but we kind of saved her from the clutches of the villager. And obviously she's found my home and she wanted to repay me in some way. So we have Doris's key right here. So I wonder what secrets Doris has um, hidden away under her home. I'm sure at some point we'll head out on into the desert and we will go and check that out. But guys, for now, that is going to bring us to the end of this episode. Like I said, I don't feel like I've achieved a lot in this episode. And that's mainly because I didn't really have a plan. I'll be completely honest. I kind of just wanted to concentrate on getting the farm fully storage automated, which we did, but I didn't kind of expect it to take quite as long as it did. So I apologize if it's been a bit of a boring episode per se. Anyway, next episode, I will try and come in with a bit more of a structured plan and a structured episode, and then hopefully we won't endure the same thing again. But thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate the support, even if we didn't really do much in this episode. And until the next one. See ya.